Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to give you a lecture on pic 16 fa 7 a versus Arduino Uno. So we will be doing a comparison here. And I will also give you some info on PIC versus Arduino, like why PIC is better or why Arduino is better. So let's get started. So guys, this is our pic 16 fa 7 a microcontroller having 40 pins. It's a DIP version. And this is our Arduino Uno. But uh, as you can see on the Arduino Uno, there is this chip called 80 Mega 328P. Basically, it's a microcontroller and this is the backbone of this board. Arduino is a board while on it is a microcontroller which controls everything in it. Basically, this Arduino is the name of this board with a microcontroller. And the microcontroller is uh, Atman made 80 Mega 328P or microchip also used to make 80 Mega 328P. Doesn't matter. It's a 80 Mega 328P. So guys. It is available in both forms, in SMD as well and in DIP as well. So in few Arduino Uno boards, you will see those cheaper boards. They have this in SMD form. And Arduino Nano is also the same thing. It has uh, the 80 Mega 328B in SMD form. Uh, rest is same. So guys, uh, similarly, PIC 16 fa 7A is also available in the SMD form as well. You can buy it from the market as well. So let's uh, get to our comparison. So this is our PIC 16 fa 7A microcontroller. And this is the Arduino Uno. I had labeled both of them for you. Now this is the division line. On the right will be the Arduino. On the left will be the PIC. First of all, we look at the cost. Cost of PIC 16 fa 7 a is around 10 US dollar maximum. And cost of 180 uh, Arduino Uno is also the same, like 10 US dollar or 10 to 12 US dollar. I don't know what is at your place, but at my place, it's the same cost for both. But uh, the good thing about Arduino Uno is that it comes with a board, while PIC do not come with a board. So the next thing is the total pins of the PIC is 40. Here the PIC gets the upper hand, while Arduino has 28 pins of total. It's this IC over here, as I had told you earlier, which defines how many pins we have. This IC has 28 pins. It means this microcontroller has 28 pins. The rest of the pins are for additional modules like power, reset, etc., additional stuff on the board. So the original pin count of this is the pin count of this microcontroller and that is 28. Now guys, the usable pins on the PIC are these. These are total 33 pins. You cannot use the oscillator pins. You don't have any internal oscillator here. So they will be used to connect the external oscillator. VCC and ground are not programmable and MCLR is not programmable in the PIC 16 fa 7 a But in higher versions PIC 18, it is also usable. If you have an internal oscillator, then these pins are also usable. But in case of PIC 16 fa 7 a these pins you cannot use, which are not in green. So you have total of 33 usable pin count. Then guys, for the 80 mega, you have 20 usable pins. These in green, they are the usable pins. Rest of the pins you can see are not for programming purpose. There might be some duplicates like uh, you have I square C port, then here you may have the SPIU I square P pins. But these are the pins connected to this microcontroller. I am only talking about this female header that these are the useful pins. The rest might have some duplicates here, there, but that's something else. Now, guys, uh, the internal oscillator, PIC 16 fa 7 a unfortunately, don't have an internal oscillator. So you have to connect an external oscillator at pin number 13 or 14, that is oscillator pins. And But a uh, good thing about the 80 mega for the Arduino Uno is that it has eight, this microcontroller has 8 megahertz internal oscillator. And another one, it also has a 128 kilohertz internal oscillator as well. It has two internal oscillators. And other than this, it also supports external oscillator installed here on this board as 16 megahertz. So, uh, but in case of an Arduino Uno, we, are, we talk about the Arduino Uno, then we only have external oscillator available during the programming. But if you remove this from this board, you may use the internal as well. Or you might have other programming features which may allow you to use the internal one. But when you have external, why would you use a lower value internal? Now guys, the next difference is the flash program memory of the PIC is 8K. Flash program memory of the 80 mega is 32K, which is way higher. Now guys, the external oscillator max that the PIC 16 fa 7 a can support is 20 megahertz, while Arduino Uno also supports 20 megahertz. So they both are like same. So bit is also, it's a 8-bit MCU. It is also 8-bit microcontroller. Now guys, the next thing is the ADC pins. ADC module of PIC 16 fa 7 a microcontroller is a 10-bit. And ADC module of uh, 80 Mega 328P or Arduino Uno is also 10 bit. Like it can have 2 power 10, 1, 0, 2, 4 max reading. And the ADC pins, which are uh, 
supported in pick 16 fa double seven a are total eight pins so pick 16 fa double seven a has total of eight adc pins while you have six adc pins in arduino uno so here again pick goes gets the upper hand then guys the pwm pins pulse width modulation channel pick has only two pins c1 and c2 uh, and uh, arduino uno has six pins so you can have a decent pwm speed at six pins then guys we have three timers in pick 16 fa double seven a and we also have three timers in Arduino Uno. Then we have uh, two, two 8 bit timers and one 16 bit timer in PIC 16 fa 7 a And uh, Arduino Uno has two 8 bit and one 16 bit timer. And the external interrupt pin in PIC is only one, while external interrupt pins in Arduino Uno are two. Pin number two and three both are external interrupt pins. Then, guys, we have a hardware UART at pin number C6 and C7 on the PIC 16 fa 7 a That is pin number 25 and 26. But we have only one hardware UART. Port. On the Arduino Uno, we have uh, like uh, one Arduino, oh, sorry, one UART port that is that pin number 0 and 1. As you can see, it is also labeled on the board as well, TX and RX. Then, guys, we have SPI port as well on PIC, and we have only one SPI port. And on Arduino Uno as well, we have only one SPI port at uh, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now, guys, on uh, PIC 16 fa 7 a we have one I2C port as well. And uh, on uh, Arduino Uno, similarly, we have one I2C port. Then, guys, Arduino, or oh, sorry, PIC, PIC 16 fa 7a can be programmed using either the Micro C for PIC programming tool or MP Lab programming tool. They both are paid tools, paid softwares. While for the Arduino, we use the Arduino IDE. That's an open source freeware. You can download and use it. Now, guys, for the cost of this. Uh, uh, PIC 16 fa 7 as programming tools that is micro C for PIC and MP lab you have to pay they are paid softwares not uh, cheap as well micro C is around like 250 US dollar lifetime license and MP lab is way higher and uh, for the open source uh, Arduino it's free it's an open source Arduino ID that's the great advantage of uh, Arduino over PIC then guys uh, ID type it uses C++ language but micro C for PIC is a very good uh, totally pure C++ based programming software while Arduino is also C++ based but it has something of a mixture with other stuff as well. Now guys with the libraries uh, we talk about the libraries available on the internet or you can download from the support of the um, micro C or MP lab whatever you are using. There are very few libraries not every module found in the market every sensor found in the market will be available in these libraries. So like you have a very fancy sensor a gyroscope. You may look in the air there, you may not find the library uh, on the even on the internet, on the support as well. So you have to do something yourself. Well, in case of Arduino, there is nearly a library of every sensor and module found in the market on GitHub and on other uh, Adafruit pages, etc. You have each and every library there. Now, guys, the programmer we use for the PIC is mostly Picket 3, but there is another PIC board as well. You can also use the board, but Picket is the mostly used programmer and it's expensive, it's not very cheap. But good thing is you have to only buy one and you can program many nearly every PIC device with that flash programmer. And but for the Arduino Uno, as you know, uh, there is a bootloader burn in the microcontroller on the board, and then you can directly plug in a cable from the PC. So it's cheap way of programming. You don't have to buy a separate programmer, and one board can be used to program multiple uh, 80 mega 328 P chips. Like you just have to burn a bootloader. And then you just place it on this Arduino board and you can program it for using it as a standalone device as well. So guys, let's see why pick over Arduino. If I say I prefer pick over Arduino, then why would I say that? These are based upon my observation. You might have different observation, but let me tell you why. So in case of pick, the great thing is all microservices for pick codes work on complete family of pick microcontroller. Like you write a code on the pick 16 fa 7 a you can burn this code on the PIC 18 series as well. You can burn this on PIC 24 series as well using Micro C for PIC. You can burn it on any microcontroller that is found in the list of Micro C for PIC programming software. So that's a great edge. And great thing is PIC microcontrollers are found in every shape. From 4 pin to up to 80 pins, they are easily available in the market. You just go to the market like you have, you have a project, suppose. And that requires only 2 pins to be used. But... Uh, in case of Arduino, you buy the 80 mega 328p, it has 28 pins. Then you will use a nano, even if you use a nano, still you are wasting rest of the pins. Only 
only two pins will be used. Rest of the pins are to be wasted. While in case of uptake, if your application requires only four pins, then you may go to the market and you may be able to buy a four pin microcontroller or a eight pin microcontroller or 16 pin microcontroller having the necessary ports and, uh, and uh, pins that you need in your project. So that's a great advantage of PIC over Arduino that it has excellent hardware availability and uh, hardware variety in the market. And the next thing is Micro C for PIC especially. This programming software is very easy to learn and it works on C++ guys. If you know the C++, you are like doing computer science or something else degree. Even then you will easily get grip on the Micro C for PIC in no time. And you don't find libraries on the internet, so you are forced to learn the C++. It will make you a master of C++. While in case of Arduino, you, know, you get the library from the internet and you sometimes don't even bother how it works. So that's the advantage of Pickover Arduino that it makes you to learn C++. Then guys, why Arduino over Pick? Why would I choose Arduino over Pick? Then guys, the point here is, why would I choose the Arduino over Pick? The reason is, open source libraries in case of Arduino IDE. That is the main reason behind choosing Arduino over Pick. Because Arduino has, you can say, thousands, I will say, hundred thousands of uh, programming libraries found in it at the github or adafruit pages they are free to use you may buy a sensor from the market and then from where you have bought the sensor if you have bought it online you will see in the description they will also share the code as well in the example just uh, copy paste a code and your sensor is ready to go if you are working in industry then this is very useful you just have to give the output and then you simply go to the internet and you download the code and you merge them and make a new project so you simply get the libraries and you merge the libraries to make a new project. That's a great edge of Arduino over PIC. It is basically a software edge. And then guys, for as told earlier, for modules, complex modules and sensors, libraries are easily available and they are ready to use. Like you buy a sensor, then you may even get the example code with it. And you go to the internet, you write the name of the sensor, you will find a library, a well-made library, easily available. Nearly every sensor and module is covered. And the next thing is, this uh, microcontroller has uh, excellent amount of it has very powerful hardware although 80 mega 328p is the abundantly used and easily available rest of the 80 mega you may not even find easily in the market unlike pick hardware availability is good for the 80 mega 328p but rest of the 80 mega chips are not easily available in the market so if you have a complex project which requires a lot of pwm pins like four or five pins and then you also need a lot of serial ports as well then you go for the Arduino because Arduino has excellent software serial libraries. You can turn like any pin, most of the pins support the RX, nearly every pin can become a TX pin for the serial. So you can like uh, with a small Arduino Uno, you can generate like four to five software serial ports. So that's a great edge. And then you have more PWM pins, you have powerful I2C and SPI as well. So in the complex projects where you need many pins and a lot of uh, function to be done, using the ports then Arduino is the best choice now guys there is another edge in the Arduino that is again the software base that Arduino supports a serial monitor you don't have to like in case of a pick you have to connect a CH340 USB to TTL device or FT232 or CP102 etc whichever you use you have to connect it to the URT port and you have to use a separate computer USB port to and then you turn on the USRT terminal and then you see what are the errors in the code or if you want to do the debugging. But in case of an Arduino, you don't have to do that. You just uh, use your same programming port to open the serial monitor and there you can see what your microcontroller is up to. That is one of the biggest edge of Arduino over PIC. Uh, sorry, this heading is Arduino over PIC. So sorry for this. Now guys, let me now go for the crux, the ending point Arduino versus PIC. So guys, the ending point is here is that PIC microcontrollers are easy they have easy availability and more variety of hardware while in case of arduino we find out that arduino id is id that is a software it has very powerful libraries and it has ready-made libraries like you buy a sensor or module and you have the library available so in short we can say that pick microcontrollers have the edge in case of hardware if you want a variety of hardware like your project requires many microcontrollers like a 8 pin 4 pin 28 pin 16 pin then the pick is the ideal choice. But in case your uh, project requires a very complex sort of microcontroller which may be able to 
sort out various different uh, like you can say you are uh, doing uh, some processing in which you need all the ports you need the i2c spi pwm you also need the software serials as well and many software serials then in such cases arduino has a very powerful software and arduino ide will allow you to use ready made libraries you just download the libraries and you merge them and you make a new project that's all but in case of tech you have the hardware but you have to do the programming you have to work very hard on the programming so guys i hope you guys learned something from this video if you have any questions or comments you can ask in the description of this video or oh, sorry in the comments section of this video uh, and thank you very much for your time and patience and have a nice day